Arctic air steams you when you step outside. Now you can see the wind chill at the bottom of your screen, and you are really going to feel cold tonight. John Milan is here with the bitter first forecast. We're still going to see wind chills to 15, even 20 below zero at times, and away from the lakeshore, temperatures will get below zero. Once again, not as cold as last night. Five below zero in Milwaukee, seven below in Sheboygan, seven below in Madison. Look at the 19 below zero in Rhinelander. They have a lot more snow on the ground there. That was a chilly air mass for all of us. And right now we're at six in Milwaukee. Look at Sheboygan and finally, like you've already dropped to two degrees there. Three Beaver Dam, West Bend, and Port Washington. Also in Waukesha, seven in Racine, eight in Kenosha. The winds. Not as bad as last night, but still a bit brisk. Nine mile per hour wind gusts from Port Washington up to Fond du Lac and all the way down to Burlington and Lake Geneva. 12 mile per hour wind gusts over the last hour in Milwaukee. That's taken the wind chills to 10 below zero right now. In Milwaukee, 14 below Waukesha, 10 below Watertown, 12 below Beaver Dam, 13 below zero right now. Port Washington, West Bend, and also in Fond du Lac. If you're going out tonight, three degrees at seven o'clock. Wind chills, 15 below zero, 10 o'clock. Wind chills around 15 to 20 below zero, one degree in the morning hours when the kids are at the bus stop, zero. But clouds are rolling in, and that means we're going to start a warm up. And then after the warm up, we have a Alberta clipper coming through. It's late in the week. It's going to be Thursday night into Friday. Could drop a little bit of accumulating snow here, maybe an inch or two by noon on Friday. Do you guys get the feeling that January is back and winter is really here? Yeah, definitely so, and <laughs> still I, dangerous I, I, out there tonight. Yeah, very dangerous overnight tonight. Thanks, John. Five. Four coverage continues now. This cold weather has a lot of people in the mood for some comfort food. Well, Jesse Ricka did the cooking and an experiment. Here's what she dished up. With overnight temperatures at 5 to almost 10 degrees below zero, many of us started the morning with a very hot cup of coffee, but with these kind of conditions, that hot cup of joe is not going to last very long, even inside your car. Add an egg for a complete and balanced breakfast. You want breakfast? For some reason, serving this 19-minute sunny-side-up egg didn't go over well. I like mine over easy, though, oh. so I don't know if I can have this, but thanks. Okay, so the cold may have something to do with this untouched plate of food. Yeah, I could try scrambling it for you. Yeah, you'd need like a hacksaw to scramble that bad boy. <laughs> While we aren't anywhere near the record low of 22 degrees below zero, this certainly isn't the way many of us envision starting our day. On your side in Milwaukee, Jesse Ritka, today's TMJ4. We make really thick coffee here at TMJ4. <laughs> that says a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. well, thank you, Jesse. You know